What's up, people? It's your boy Slack. In this video, I'm going to talk about lack of our relationships among among people in general. I've noticed that in the United States, most people here don't really value relationships. They don't value friendships. They don't value anything. I started noticing it, I could say about eh, a couple of years ago. Um, I've been one of those people where I like keeping in contact with people who I feel are worthy. People who I feel who had an impact on my life. But it seems like no one feels the same way. And this is how many people today in society end up being isolated. Um, like I said, in many, in many cases, it's not personal. It's just the way people are. Um, I think why this stuff happens sometimes is because some people don't value the friendship as much as the other person did. You know, um, you have situations where people just don't really care to maintain anything. Like, let me, let me try to break it down. When you go to like college, right? There are some people whom you will always be cool with, right? But there are times where, where you do leave the city or you do leave the town or you do, you know, you move on to your next phase in life. Some people just don't keep in contact. You know, some people, they move on quickly. You know, and some people just, they never really value the friendship. And it's just the way it is, you know. And when I left college, ugh, college was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. But another topic for another day. When I left college, I literally had about, eh, I can't say the amount of number, I don't remember. I, I'm going to say around at least seven or eight friends, right? I think I had about seven or eight friends. And today, I only talk to like one of them on a regular basis. <laughs> and um, it's pretty interesting to me. Um, one of my friends moved to, he moved to Africa. You know, um, another friend of mine, um, he moved to, he moved to the East Coast. He moved to like Maryland or somewhere like that. But so many other ones, they're still where they're at. I don't really talk to them anymore. Um, nothing personal. I, know I have those type of friends. I have, I have those friends where if I went back to the city where I used to live, they would actually hit me up. We'd talk. We'd, we'd hang out. So that's, those are friends I, those are friends I still have. Then I have the other friends of mine who just refuse to like keep in contact. You know, I had one of my good friends, one of my very good friends. Um, you know, we used to talk after college, we used to talk, we still kept in contact, you know, but not as much. And for the past couple of, I think for the past couple of years, I've been trying to contact her and say, what's up? How's it going? never really responds back to me. I thought it was kind of weird, you know? Like I said, we never ended we never ended on bad terms, you know? So I was like, hey, what's up? How's it going? You know, she'll respond and just stop responding. So I was kind of like, what the fuck? What the fuck's going on here, you know? But, uh, you know, me, myself, I move on quick. Like, I don't sit there and ponder about other shit. It's just like, you know, that's 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 just the way it is, you know? So that's one thing. Then 
when it came to my coworkers, I had some coworkers at my old job. Some of them I still keep in contact with, say, what's up, how's it going, you know? And there's some of them, it's just like, they never really valued the friendship. I asked people, I had people out there who would give me their number or their email. You know, I'm, you know, I always say, what's up, how's it going? And some of them respond, but a lot of them don't respond back. Um, I told the, you know, I said one guy <laughs> at my whole job, very smart dude, cool personality, very nice. And I always say, what's up? How's it going to you? Are you good? You know? And he never got, you know, when, when I left the job and I left the town by my old job, he <laughs> didn't get back to me at all. So I sent him two emails. Didn't even, he didn't get back to him. He didn't even respond. And I and I already know he read it. So it, so it doesn't really... So there's ain't no like secret shit. So like I said, me and him are very cool at the job. We were very cool. We talk all the time. Then I realized this guy pretty much never really valued our friendship, you know? And to some people, you know, I don't blame the guy because I feel like, you know, he's busy. He has his own life to worry about, you know? So I'm not going to like say, oh, well, you should, you know, no. Nah. It's, it's just one of those things to me that I learned that in America today, we don't value anything. We don't value friendship. We don't value shit out here, man. These are, most of them, most of them are people who grew up in America. But I met some people who grew up from foreign cultures. And I still talk to them on a... You know, maybe once every three or four months, we say, what's up? How's it going? You know, like I, when I used to live in Maine, you know, there's this one guy, some, so there's this guy, you know, he's, he's, he's an immigrant and, you know, we still keep in contact. We say, what's up once in a while? Hey, what's up? How's it going? We don't talk every day. Not even, maybe like once every three or four months, we say, what's up? Just keep in contact, you know? A lot of my friends today in America are, are no, many of them are, are immigrants and we all keep in contact, you know, and in America today, people don't value anything. And that's one thing. And that's the thing that really makes me think twice about doing shit out here, because as I got older, I understand the value of friendships. I understand the value of networking. Because I can tell you right now, the older you get, the less people are going to be in your life. And the reason why it's like that is because people are busy with their own lives. People are busy, do, people are busy doing their own shit. People don't have time, you know? So that's why it's good to keep in contact. You don't have to hang out with them every day. Just say what's up once in a while, how's it going? And that's it. You know, but I but I learned that in America, people don't value anything out here. You know, you you, <laughs> you can find stories where people who have been friends for about five, ten years, right? If they did if they did something wrong, they'd cut them out without even thinking twice. They would cut them off like it's nothing. You know. If you can do that to somebody, that means you never valued other friendship in the first place. You know, there there are some things you do, right? There are some things you do where it's pretty much okay. I ain't gonna message. I ain't gonna message you no more, right? But there are some cases out there where if someone made a mistake, simply say, simply say I'm sorry, and life continues. You know. But it's not like that these days in the United States. It's not like that. A lot of people just, they don't value shit out here. Because nowadays, I've seen people before who want to, like, start businesses or they want to start some kind of, like, organization. But guess what? They don't have the right people in their corner. Guess what? They don't, they don't know anybody who, who's going to work with them. You understand what I mean? And you have situations where, hey... 
I can't get a bank loan. How about I get a loan from, how come I, I, I can get a loan from, how about I, I get a loan from friends and family? But guess what? You burned every bridge with your friends and your family. So now you're stuck. You know? And these things really trip me out because I look at the news. A lot of people don't read articles, you know, you know, certain people don't read a lot. I read, I, I read a lot. And people don't understand that America today is so isolated. We are isolated as a society. We are isolated. And people don't understand, like, when you don't get attention, you will do anything for it. Let me give you an example. Some people out there, no one cares about their opinions. No one cares to talk to them. No one cares to be around them, right? Guess what they start doing? They start creating drama. They start doing stupid shit so that somebody will talk to them, you know? And we are now seeing people today living alone, living in nursing homes. We have people, all this shit's going on. And you ask yourself these questions like, how come this person is living alone? How come this person can't find anyone to hang out with them? You know? It is the part that really trips me out sometimes because I feel like living in America today, there is no social connection out here. And I've said this shit before numerous times. There's no connections out here. So, I mean, I love keeping in contact with people because I feel like, hey, we got to maintain that friendship because by the time you reach 40 to 50, <laughs> everyone's doing their own thing. You know, people are just busy with their own family. They're busy with their own shit going on. So, so you ain't got time to socialize. But keeping in contact is more important than hanging out with somebody. You know what I mean? You don't have to hang out with someone because, oh, we didn't hang out. No, you don't have to hang out. There. Just keep in contact. Then if you two enter the same city in the, in the future, you know, kick it, you know. But people have this thing where they're so bent on friendships. They're so bent, not, not friendship. They don't value friendships. They don't value connections. And yet you have so many Americans today who sit there and start complaining that they, they have no one to hang out with, you know. It's just, in. It, it makes me feel somehow because, don't get me wrong, I have my friends. and <laughs> I have my friends I still talk to, right? But I'm starting to see how things really are, are really work out here. And now it's like, you just don't know, you know? I think people in the United States, I truly believe people in the United States, they don't value friendships. They don't value relationships. They don't value anything. That's just what I've seen. I've seen it. I've been through it. I'm like the most e happy-go-lucky person. I'm like the easiest guy to talk to. I can talk to you about anything. Business, politics, entertainment, or just having a good old time cracking jokes. I can do it all. You feel me? But I think what happens is that I think what happens is that a lot of people they don't value the friendship on the same level as you do. And that can lead to, um, you know, disconnections. Like I, you know, and I'm, like I said before, a lot of times I'm referring to the friendships that you have, someone you have not talked to. I'm not talking about the ones you've ended on. I'm not talking about the people you've ended a bad note on. People who, if you end on a bad note with someone, that's totally different. Okay. That's a totally different situation. I'm just talking about people you just people in general they don't value friendships on that same level in the United States that's my whole point of the video um, a lot of people don't value anything but yet these same people are going to sit there and start complaining that they have no one to hang out with they have no one to help them in their plans or goals they have that's just what I've seen and um, if you guys if you guys seen this shit too let me know peace